Hmm. I'm not sure who made the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemists, the people that make up these rules. But here we go. We're going to use them to try and name isomers of non-cyclic alkanes. Well, you essentially just have to learn the first six. Methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, and hexane. They all end in ane, and that tips you off that they're alkanes. And the prefixes, some make more sense than others. Like pent has five carbons, hex has six, but the others you just have to learn. And for the branch names, well, they're named after the parent alkane, and we're only going to be looking at methyl in terms of the IB today. Alrighty. So, branched alkane nomenclature. This is the simplest branched alkane. So the first thing you have to do is find out what's the longest chain. The longest chain, uh, in this case, is three carbons in a row and three carbons in a row. Uh, essentially, that looks like propane. I'm going to number them, and then if you look on the second carbon, there's a methyl group. So this is 2-methylpropane. Moving along to another one, first I'm going to find the longest chain, which in this case is the 4 that I'm highlighting in yellow. I'm going to number from the most busy end, or number from the end that gives me the smallest numbers in the name, which is the most busy end. And so now, on the second carbon, I have something. The parent chain is 4, so that's butane. And on the second carbon, again, I have a methyl group, so it's 2-methylbutane. And you're supposed to put a little dash between the numbers and the words. A more sophisticated question could be this one. Once again, the longest chain is highlighted in yellow. And it doesn't matter which way you number them, it gives you the same numbers. The longest chain is 4, so that's butane. And there's a methyl on the 2 and the 3, so it's 2,3-dimethylbutane. It seems like tautology, it seems like you're saying the same thing twice, two times. But that's how it's done. Put commas between the numbers as well. Okay, a couple of tricky ones. This one here... Longest chain, well, don't be fooled into thinking it's always the horizontal chain. That's not true. That's not the longest chain. It's not based on butane. The longest chain is, in fact, bent in this case. It's based on pentane. Numbering, doesn't matter which end you start from, gives you the same number of 3-methylpentane. So between the number 3, between any number and the words, there should be a dash. Between one number and another number, there should be a comma. The IB don't really care, though. OK, the next one. Try these two. And then we've pretty much done every example that they expect you to know. Notice I've missed out the hydrogens. But if you do that in the IB, you lose a point. <laughs> 